Hello, race fans, and welcome to another Race Face Drive-In 5 podcast here on RaceFace.tv. As always, Jacob Seelman back with you, joined once again by Cassidy Hines, who we're starting off July. You got a chance to rest over the 4th of July holiday, and I'll be curious in a few minutes. We'll get to that. But uh, since the last time we talked, you had two more races uh in the second half of June, for anybody that missed our June episode, or our, sorry, I guess our end of May start of June episode, you actually swept a pair of races the very first weekend of June at uh, at Tucson with your late models. So two wins on, on the month there, and then you got a top five right after that two win weekend but i know the race the very last last weekend of june was that moment of okay we're excited we finally got the car we think where we want it and then the sky opened up yeah it was um kind of defeating actually um we finally got the car where we wanted it to be it was running good all day and then starting the main we were p2 um, so we even started really good and we made three laps under green, seven laps under caution and they were counting cautions too because it was mm-hmm. supposed to be a long race. Um, so we made 10 laps total and then the rain started coming and so they called the race. We didn't get any finishing positions, no points, no payout, no nothing for that race. Um, and it sucks. We really I guess the, the only it. saving grace to that is it was at Colorado National, which is not too far down the road from where you live. So at least, you know, it's not a far trip home. But like you said, it's really, really disappointing with us, how with how good a car you had. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it was it was really good that we were only like 30 minutes away from home um, instead of like 20 hours away. Um, but yeah, it's really frustrating when you have a good day and then the weather decides to come in and make its, I guess, make itself shine in a way that we don't want it to shine, you know? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, I'm curious, though, you mentioned it was going to be a 76 lap feature, obviously, uh, kind of paying a nod to the 4th of July weekend holiday. Um, I know normally you guys run 40 or 50 lap features when you're at CNS. Do you like the longer distance races is that something that you enjoy and feel like you can can perform well at or is that one of those where it, it takes kind of different skill sets and really saving your equipment to be able to be successful yeah i think it's kind of both um since we don't run a lot of big races at cns it's really nice and refreshing to get a big race every like once a month or whatever um but it is hard sometimes because we don't run those big races that we have to really pay attention to the setup. We have to save our tires more. We really have to pay attention to the lap count. And so that kind of is an adjustment for us. Um, but I mean, I like the bigger races. I think they're enjoyable. I think fans enjoy them. That's what fans want to see. They want to see the big races. And so I feel like the big races are something that we can really benefit from in bringing more fans and bringing more cars specifically Mm -hmm. because the bigger races, everybody shows up. If it's a smaller race, everybody's kind of like, Oh, well, it's just, it's just a weekly race. It's whatever. Um, And so I think it's kind of bold. You you mentioned um, the, the fans turning out for events like that. Uh, What was the fan turnout? Like, obviously we know you've got a pretty loyal fan base, particularly at CNS. What was the turnout like uh, a couple weekends ago? Yeah. um, In the beginning of the day, it was really good. (laughs) Then the first rain came and that was like, I think it was, if I remember correctly, I think it was right before qualifying the rain came. Um, And we, the fans, kind of dwindled a little bit, not like crazy. They kind of just went to their cars and then came back. And then once the rain came for the main, everybody left. They didn't come sure. back to the pits. They didn't come and see anybody, which I get it. It's pouring down rain. We had a river running across our trailer. Like, oh my goodness. It was, it was pouring. So like, I don't blame the fans at all for leaving because it was hard to even watch it from the pits. Um, and so... Usually there's at least a couple that come back. There was 
only the fans that were in the pits to begin with that Mm -hmm. are from like other drivers and other teams that came back. So Colorado national is actually starting a run of seven straight, eight straight weeks now um, that they'll have various weekly programs, but you've only got uh, one at least planned super late model appearance, I think at Colorado national in the month of July, are you looking forward to getting back there? And do you feel like the uh, the setup now that you guys have put you know three or four races of work into getting the car squared away? Do you feel like you're going to be able to kind of roll out of the trailer a lot better than you have been? Yeah, I I have a really good feeling about this coming weekend running at CNS. Um, we're going to get our practice time on Friday, and we're going to get our practice time on Saturday and our racing on Saturday. So um, I have a really good feeling about it. I think we'll be able to come out of the trailer better and know what to expect from the car. I know Tucson's got a, uh, got the roasted Rattler weekend coming up at the end of July. Any chance we see you make the toe for that race too, since you've had some success there earlier this year? Yes, I will be there. We are very excited for that race. (laughs) Last, I was going to say, last time you were there, you got two wins. So the the goal would be to go back and see if you can't make it three in a row, I'm sure. Yes. Yep. That's always the goal. (laughs) Fourth of July holiday, I know, is always busy for for a lot of teams, a lot of racetracks. Um, But you guys had the weekend off over the weekend. Uh, Did you guys as a family do anything fun this past weekend to celebrate the holiday was it kind of just quiet given the fact that you've had a lot of racing going on lately so surprise surprise we were not racing but we were at the racetrack (laughs) Um, (laughs) of course I, I feel like every racer can say the same though like if you're not racing you go to the racetrack for fourth of July like sure there's nothing that can beat it um and CNS had the big sprint cars out and so we were like we have to go they had 30 sprint cars there we have to go and so we watched those and it was really it was really entertaining we really enjoy watching the sprint cars it um gave me an itch to want to run one um but okay yeah (laughs) is that one of those if you can ever find an opportunity you'll you'll give it a shot oh yeah oh yeah for sure if somebody came up to me and they're like you want to run my asphalt sprint Absolutely. I want to run your asphalt sprint. I want to run a 13 second lap. (laughs) There you go. As some, as somebody who has announced asphalt sprint cars myself in Indiana and Michigan for a long time now, those cars are absolutely crazy. And I can imagine it's very similar at at Colorado National. So that that's really cool that you guys were able to uh, to see that show get put on there. I know I've seen video of those cars out there before, and it's always pretty wild. So definitely enjoyable. Um, before we wrap up, sponsors, shout out. Who do you need to say thank you to, Cassidy? Yeah, I'd like to th- say thank you to um, my crew, first of all, for all of their hard work that they put into the race car. Um, and all of my sponsors, Front to Restoration, Fort Worth Screen Printing, Commit to Fitness, The Pineapple Pump Project, Matco Tools, 5280 Pit Lighting, Buckeye Welding, Puzzle Effects, um, Yukon Axe, and the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation and Race Face Brand Development for all of their help. She's got the list down. See, this, this, this oh, is yeah. why she makes it so easy on us. That's Cassidy Hines, as always. Cassidy, uh, best of luck for your next race here coming up at Colorado National. And we will see you in about a month for our next episode. Thank you. That's Cassidy Hines. My name's Jacob Seelman. This has been another edition of Race Face Drive-In 5. We'll see you next time on raceface.tv. And keep it tuned to the website for all the latest news across the world of motorsports. 